A perfect start to Big Sky Conference play hit a speed bump for the Grays and Lady Grays on Saturday. Montana's basketball teams both fell to Portland State and dropped to 3-1 and one in league play. And they both can't wait to shoot for redemption tonight. The Lady Grizz came out flat in Portland. They were playing their fourth game in eight days and less than 48 hours after a double overtime win in Sacramento. But the team and coaches did not believe the schedule played into their early struggles. The first quarter has given UM problems in other games this season. And the Vikings came out red hot, taking a 20-point lead after only 10 minutes. I feel like we didn't come out for the start of that game as ready as we should have. I mean, the rest of the game, we were there with them the last three quarters. It was the first quarter there that that really killed us. We've got to learn to somehow be able to adjust to, the, to moments like that. You know, there's going to be teams that come out and blitz you a little bit, and you've got to be able to respond. I thought we did just a little bit too late. We, you know, we had a much better second half, did a much better job defensively. Montana will look for a quick start with Eastern Washington in town. The struggling Eagles have only won two games this season, but they have won four straight against the Lady Grizz. They'll tip off at 7 o'clock in Dahlberg Arena. Meanwhile, the Grizzly men didn't finish versus the Vikings, blowing a seven-point lead in the final minutes before falling in overtime. Star guard Ahmad Rory said everyone, including himself, played soft. That's something you can rarely say about the Grizzlies during their success of the last two years. This week, Montana finally got a chance to focus on themselves for a change. The schedule filled with travel, a holiday break, and then four quick games to start conference play only left time to prepare for the next opponent. So taking some time to look at the Grizzlies could make a big difference. I think Saturday, what you saw was a result of a team that just hadn't gotten back to the basics. Um, so for us, we got a chance to go back, watch from yesterday, and, and, and see how important the details are and, and, and how desperate we need to be to get back to those. We've got enough upperclassmen that it, it, it should be something that we can accomplish, but it's got to be important to every one of us individually and collectively. Real hungry, you know, coming off a loss, you know, you just want to get back out there. You want these practices to kind of go by fast so you can get back on track and get a win. Montana and Eastern Washington collide for the first time since the Big Sky Championship game last March. The Grizz won that showdown, but they lost when they traveled to Cheney last year. The 3-1 and Grizz and 1-3 and Eagles also tip off at 7 o'clock. We'll have the highlights of both Montana games on the 10 o'clock news tonight.